So our final topic for uh, uh, the Cisco switching module is CDP. So let's discuss about what CDP is. So by definition, CDP is a Cisco proprietary protocol which only works on directly connected interfaces. Which means if we have uh, these two uh, routers connected and there is another one, only CDP work directly on these two connected interfaces and even here as well. But it doesn't mean this router is having any information or any negotiation with the CDP with this third router. No, it is not going to happen unless until if this is directly connected, then we can see that can say the CDP is running on this link as well. So CDP messages are generated over 60 seconds. It means this is a hello time. If this neighbor wants to communicate with this uh, another neighbor, they have to communicate using this CDP protocol, but with the help of this uh, uh, hello message that is being sent every 60 second okay so uh, then we have a hold down timer like this is uh, 60 multiplied by 3 so this is the amount of time you know the neighbor will send three hello messages and if it will not uh, hear from its neighbor it this neighbor will be considered the down okay so this is the use of hold down timer so this is the amount of time uh, this router uh, will hear from this uh, the neighbor if it will not hear this amount of time it will consider the neighbor is dead devices that receive CTP messages on an interface from other devices the information is stored in the table that can be viewed using the command which is the show CTP and we will uh, discuss this in a case study. <coughs> so what is the case study? You are just hired as a new, uh, new junior network admin in a company. Unfortunately, the senior network admin is on a vacation for a week. You do not have any information about the network yet except uh, the information about the router, which is having uh, the IP, and the password so provide all necessary information for the rest of a network along with the topology diagram so you know the case is very simple you just hired and your senior network admin is on a vacation so you have no any idea about uh, the network diagram or the topology what kind of topology what devices are running and uh, what uh, the routers or the switch is having uh, some other neighbors with Okay, so you have no any, you know, um, uh, understanding about how the topology looks like. So this is for your own understanding. I mean, you are uh, very new to this company and you have no any idea what device is, is connected with another device and how the topology will look like. But you have to figure it out. So let's uh, move to the lab, which is already open. So this is how the case will be look like. Uh, let me open my elevator. So this is the case uh, will be look like when you will enter into uh, your organization. Uh, this is how the rack will be look like. You have multiple devices like this. Uh, one switch is connected with another switch. This is connected with the router one. And then that is connected with the another router but uh, you have no any idea how these uh, you know the logically how they look like because I am talking about the physical if I will click on the logical you can see how the logical topology will look like but uh, the basic idea of uh, uh, what this lab is to just determine how your logical topology look like without uh, seeing any you know diagram or topology okay so this is a basic uh, idea behind creating this lab so uh, the first thing first as I said that we have the knowledge about router 1 
IP and password. So this is the router one. So I will click on this one. Hit enter. Enable. And the password is Cisco. So it means I have access to this router. So uh, what we can do currently, I will go show IP interface brief and can see currently what interface it is connected with with what IP. So what you can do, you can open MS Paint. Uh, just uh, you can uh, draw one shape and just name it router one. So this is how I'm going to draw topology router one and the IP is as it is mentioned 192.168.1.1 just copy this one and paste it here and what interface it is connected with gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 so it means there is a one link no idea where it is going but it is connected with gig 0 slash 0 slash uh, 0 all three zeros so that's it and by the way IP on that interface is this one 192.168.1.1 .1. so the next step what you need to do you have to go to this console and type show CDP neighbors so this is a basic command that you have to use so what this show cdp neighbor command is telling me it is saying that router one is connected with another device uh, whose device identification is market switch this is the, just the name just like r1 it is local interface connected with gig 0 slash 0 so you know uh, r1 is connected with gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay uh, the platform means uh, what is the version of this uh, iOS which is 2960 capability is S it means it's a switch switch uh, we are connected with okay if you want to know more detail about it what you can do show CDP entry and just put the name of this uh, device ID paste and hit enter as you hit enter you will get more information about that device so it means we have one switch is connected so let's draw a switch here and what is the name of that switch is mkt switch marketing switch just write the name And then uh, it is telling me that it is connected with fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 on this side and this is the interface that is connected on the other side so this is the one that we are looking for copy this one means it is connected here with or I can type fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 for simplicity sake Furthermore, it is telling me the IP address for that switch is 192.168.1.2. Just copy this one and paste here. Okay. Furthermore, if you dig deep, you can see what is the iOS version for this one, which is C2960. Version is 12.2. Okay. And uh, these are some other information which are also helpful. So what you need to do, do now, from router one, you know about marketing switch, the IP and the interface it is connected. So uh, let's try first, uh, try to ping 192.168.1.2. So, which is reachable. 
uh, initially you know it went for some you know delay but after that you know when the broadcast is sent and it has found the MAC address uh, they replied back so if you try ping second time we are successful so it means we have end-to-end -end reachability now try to do the telnet 192.168.1.2 and hit enter it means uh, the switch is open and you can hop to that switch now as you can see we have already landed on that switch now do enable assuming the password is almost similar to the one that is for r1 which is cisco i will apply and it is working it means i was on a router one but now i have hopped on to the mar uh, marketing switch so from here if i will do show cdp neighbor so currently it is telling me <clears throat> I just want to expand this one so have a better look so at this point of time you can see the router one which is connected on its fast ethernet zero celeste one local interface and the remote uh, interface is gig zero slash zero so we already have this information in our diagram marketing switch we have already done but now we have another uh, de new device which is sales switch which is saying uh, your local interface is connected with 0 slash 2 so it means we have another connection you can draw like this which is fast ethernet 0 slash 2 2 okay which uh, also connected with the remote port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 it means on other end there is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and what that device is that device is basically 2960 switch but if you want to uh, go into detail about the neighbor what you can do show CTP entry and just mention the name of this switch copy and paste and hit enter so it is going to give you more detail it is saying the IP that uh, uh, your neighbor switch has 192.168.1.3 so you can mention here 192.168.1.3 furthermore we have already uh, found we have already find out what is the local interface is connected and what is the remote uh, what else we can have this is a sales switch so it means it's a switch so we need to draw another switch here the topology And the name is sales switch and that's it now we need to go into that sales switch to see uh, what this sales switch is connected with first I need to ping from my marketing switch to this sales switch 192.168.1.3 which I am able to now try to tell net tell net we are going to remotely uh, configure this device or even we want to see what is going on in that device so tell net we have already covered so I don't need to go into detail so 192.168.1.3 hit enter it is open and we are on that sales switch so enable uh, assuming the password is same Cisco now go show CDP neighbors and hit enter now this is uh, 
<clears throat> as we know the marketing switch we have already discovered about it now we need to know uh, what other devices are connected with the sales switch and as per the information it means we have R2 which is basically ISR router uh, which is connected on its local interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 while the remote port is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 so with this information we can draw or extend our topology so it means this switch is further having another link to the device which is basically the router 2 router 2 uh, the local interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and the remote interface is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 which I'm going to type here gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 but currently I do not have any IP information about R2 which I am going to discover with this command show cdp entry and just type the name of this one r2 and hit enter so it is uh, saying this the ip address that is configured on that interface is 192.168.1.4 furthermore uh, we have already discovered about the outgoing port and the local port uh, you can further dig deep about the iOS software it is using ISR software Linux it is using Linux uh, iOS D and this is the platform and the version which is 15.5 okay so such kind of information you can get uh, from your sales switch so after that now I need to ping this device ping 192.168.1.4 which I can so it means I have reachability to this R2 now I need to telnet this device 192.168.1.4 enter enable and put password Cisco now from here do show CDP neighbor to see it who it is connected with now it is connected with the sales switch back to the one that we were working with so it means here your topology ends so this is how the diagram of your network will be look like r1 is connected with marketing switch these are the interfaces these are the ips and marketing switch is connected with the sales switch these are the interfaces these are the ips then this sales switch is connected to the r2 is having this IP so if I go to the logical tab and hit on enter on that one or just click on that one as you can see that was pretty straightforward topology R1 is connected with the marketing switch now you can label this one marketing switch which is then connected with a sales switch which is further than connected with the R2 router 2 and then IP it is using here 192.168.1.1 on R2 it is using 1.4 And for the switches it is using 1.2 and 1.3 and that's it so it means that we initially we were only familiar about the router one 
but with the help of commands like show CDP neighbors and show CDP entry, we able to reach out this marketing switch and then we uh, discovered about what is the IP, what uh, port it is connected with, what outgoing interface ports are, what is the IP, what are the neighbors and then we discovered the neighbor was sales switch. Then we hop and uh, went to the sales switch using the Telnet uh, facility and then we discovered that sales switch is connected with the two neighbors which is marketing switch and R2 but we had already discovered about a uh, marketing switch so we do not need to go back again to this marketing switch we will dig deep further about the neighbors which is R2 and then when we went to R2 R2 was telling us that it is only connected with sales switch furthermore it has no any kind of connection and this is how your topology will be look like so this is very simple topology I use just for the sake of simplicity but you know uh, it could be very complex it means R2 is connected further with another switch there is another router and this switch is also connected with another router this is how but you know the methodology is same this is the basic you know idea behind creating this lab so you have better understanding and idea how to use CDP command proper so but sometimes what happens in uh, uh, production environment you know uh, usually uh, uh, the the administrator administrator they do not want uh, this CDP okay so there are two commands uh, CDP run and CDP enable if you want to disable on the interface this CDP because CDP is running all the time how if I uh, take you to this switch CLI and there is a command show CDP uh, or hit and just hit enter so as you can see after show CDP I put question mark and it is saying that you can hit enter as well this is also a valid command so I hit enter it is telling me the information about how many packets are being sent uh, for the CTP it is 60 second and then hold down, uh, hold down timer is 180 second CTP version 2 advertisement is also enabled so we have CTP 1 and CTP 2 so it means CTP v2 is also enabled so this is how we can know that CTP is running on uh, for, uh, for, uh, for globally but if you are uh, particularly particularly want to see whether the CDP is running on the interface or no what you can do show CDP interface and then the interface for example fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 as you can see the same thing is here as well it is up but what if I want to disable CDP on this interface what you need to do go into fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and do CDP but you have to negate it note CDP enable just by doing this command or enabling this command you are going to disable CDP on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 if I do show CDP neighbor it is still showing me the R1 because you know although I have disabled on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 but you know the hold down timer is 180 seconds so it has to wait like 180 seconds uh, to properly work okay when I will run again show CDP neighbor you will see R1 will not be available there because uh, we know that uh, we are connected with R1 using fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 on which we have disabled the CDP which you can confirm from show CDP interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 command as you can see previously it was showing us some detail but now uh, it is not anymore there it's blank it means CDP is not running what if you want to globally disable uh, the CDP there is a command global terminal then CDP run and negate this no CDP run hitting this one 
you know uh, you are not running uh, CDP anymore as you can see CDP is not enabled if I do show CDP neighbor and you can see CDP is not enabled so you cannot see any kind of neighbors so if I go to R1 and do show CTP neighbors uh, currently it is uh, showing me uh, the sorry I am or actually I had 10 letter so I need to log out log out again log out and now you can see because uh, I had previously the telnet session was running so I had to disconnect this one now I am on R1 so I need to do show CTP neighbor and as you can see I am still seeing marketing switch and uh, it is still you know waiting this uh, timer to expire so what I can do I can go to this port and do uh, shutdown and no shutdown save the configuration now negotiation will happen again and I will do show CDP neighbors and now you can see I cannot see the neighbors anymore okay even let it uh, negotiate first or give it some time But I am 100% sure it is not gonna show the neighbors because the CDP has been disabled globally on this uh, marketing switch. So that is why it is not advertising its own uh, information to any of the neighbor. So if I go R1 and who shows its CDP neighbors, as you can see, uh, the link has been up, but still we are not seeing any kind of information so this is how you are going to disable CDP in your uh, local network uh, it is also good practice somehow but you know most of uh, that work administrator they do not disable because they want to see uh, the information about the topology okay so with that yeah uh, your CDP labs and share. Let's head over to the next slide. And uh, this is the end of your switching module. module. Uh, I hope this has been informative to you and thank you for your time.